Well, Freeport school administrators and teachers will soon have another tool to keep students safe. The program's not necessarily new to the area, but it'll be a first for the city there. Andrea Baroni learned more about the latest school district taking part. Andrea, what'd you find out? David, Freeport School District could join Ogle County and Rockford Public Schools using the Handle with Care program. I talked with some school staff and Freeport Police Department about what this new partnership can do for students and teachers. Freeport School District is partnering with their police department to keep students safe. They're often the first on the scene, but we're often the second. Like they come, you know, Monday morning and something's happened over the weekend and we end up with them in our offices. The Handle with Care program allows police to notify district administrators within 24 hours if students have been involved in violence or some kind of traumatic event. The ability for a law enforcement officer to uh, you know, notify us before a, school, a student walks into our school buildings uh, helps us get supports in place. Freeport Police Chief Chris Schenberger breaks down the officer's role in all this. We're more than willing to um, to get to make this work. If we're on scene of a call and it's, uh, it's something where it, it appears like a child was exposed to something very traumatic, like let's say a family member died or maybe a domestic violence situation, then it gives us steps of what we need to do to contact the school. Right now, the plan is to use email, but the message wouldn't reveal much, just the student's name and the words handle with care. Even if the student doesn't want to talk, I think that it just offers some support and they feel, you know, that they're cared for and they know who to go to if they do need something. Aside from helping students in need at that moment, school administrators say it can prevent future violence. One factor that can uh, be associated with the student's decision to engage in an act of, of violence potentially is the fact is the impact of stressors in the home. So the sooner we know we can use that less, you know, more to include and pull those students back closer versus, you know, allowing that to be another factor that makes students feel less connected. City Council members are scheduled to talk about a formal agreement between the police and the school district tonight. Aldermen could vote at next week's meeting. David, Mimi. All right, thanks, Treya.